Hello, uh, my name is Frank Pitt. Um, what I'm trying to do here, well, first off, I want to say that um, this is a production. This is uh, an attempt to bring the Word of God to people out there that are, that are seeking after God. I really want to try to encourage people, men and women, boys and girls, uh, children of the living God, the ones who have the ones who have uh, given their life to Christ. Well, if you're just seeking after Christ, you know, uh, it, 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 it makes no difference. It, only, the, only, if you have, only if you have a heart for something different, for something more than just sitting in church every, every Sunday, or even in Bible study, or maybe in Sunday school, you're just going through the same old rep repetitious things. You know, um, what I found in my walk with Christ, and I've been filled with the Holy Spirit. I've been saved ever since 91. Well, probably way more than that because I've always believed in God. I can't say that there has been a time when I just didn't believe in God. You know, I just knew that there was a God. I just knew that there was something else, something more. There's something more to this life than just than just walking around. Just I, I, whatever whatever will be will be. Um, there's there's more. There is so much more. And see, you know what I found out is that you can only live a fulfilled life, and that is in Jesus Christ. See, the Bible says that I come, Jesus said, I come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. So what I am attempting to do here is this is my first um, production. I got my son doing this. <clears throat> what we are attempting to do is, if God will, is to reach out to people that, that, and, and that don't have a medium to tell people about what God is doing in their life. And see, we're in a small town here called Sulphur Spring, Texas. And it's a small town, but God is working everywhere. And that's what I want to bring. And I also want to encourage you, the listener. Yeah, you. You, you, you have gifts. You have talent. You, you're just not just, just walking around just like zombies with your head cut off and just whatever is going to come around. That's not the way it is. God has a plan for your life. Haven't you ever wondered how all of a sudden, you know, things just seem to work out? Haven't you ever wondered why people would come around and just things would, they said, when you just thought about, Lord, what, what am I going to do? You never had to even say a word. And all of a sudden things would just work out. Well, that was God. You ever just said to yourself, man, something told me not to do that. Well, that was God. There was God there. He's always watching. See, we all are children of the living God, but to as many as believe, to them became sons of the living God. See, you know, when we're not when we're not in Christ Jesus, we're like stepchildren. But when we're in Christ Jesus, we become sons. Then you're given power. The Bible says, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Then shall you receive power. You know, I don't want to say anything about God's Word without using the Word of God. <clears throat> what I'm actually doing here now, this whole thing is being done in my house. You know, I'm just looking for a medium, a way to get God's Word out there. And if God be willing, and if it be His will, this will get out there. And I'm praying that it will touch your life. Because this Word of God, God said, my Word won't come back to me void. But it will do that for which I plead and accomplish that for which I sent it. So anytime that anybody speaks the word of God, it, it, it's going to be effective. It's going to do something. The word of God is alive. So, you know, I want to read the word of God. See, you know, I've got a, I've got a, a, an Android phone here. It's like the cheaper version. But what it does is I can download apps. I can download my Bible. I can download Christian music. I can do all this stuff. I can quickly go to any scripture. All I do is search and just put the scripture in it, and there you have it. This is a wonderful tool for you who, I mean, you can even listen to the Bible on this thing. Those of you who don't have time enough to read, then, you know, uh, uh, you can you can also listen. God has many mediums out there, so we have really real without excuse. You know, God loves you. He loves you so much. You know, and I'm praying to God that, you know, that this reaches your heart. There's somebody out there that needs to know that they're loved. You are loved. God loves you. I mean, I know that you've been through some hard things. and you, you, you've, you've been told that, 
hey, you know, you ain't gonna never be nothing, but that's a lie. That's the trick of the enemy, the devil. That's how he does. But God loves you. And see, check this out. Look here. And see, if you have, if you have a Bible, if you want to get one, I want to read this scripture to you. This is what's been on my heart. First Corinthians fourteen and twelve. That's First Corinthians fourteen and twelve. Listen to what this says. It says, "Even even so, ye." For as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel in the edifying of the church. I'm going to read that to you one more time. Oh, this thing, the backlighting just goes out real fast. I'm trying to save energy. But listen to this, 1 Corinthians 14 and 12. It says, Even so, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel in edifying the church. You know what that means? That means that, you know what, even though if you're in God, and even if you're not, I suggest that you know that you really search your life and that you look for God. You look for, uh, uh, look for a relationship, a real relationship with Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's telling us that when we're zealous of doing things, the Bible tells us, even though we're zealous of doing it, we're so hungry and we're always trying to do things, always trying to please people, always trying to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Well, see, there ain't but one person that did that, and his name was Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Bible says he was tempted on all points, just like we were, but was without sin. And the Bible says, as much as we want gifts, seek that we edify. You know what edify means? See, an edifice is a building. An edification is the is, is when I built. And an edifice, an edifice is a building. And to edify means to build up. It means to build up. See, you know what I'm supposed to be doing right now? And any born again Christian, any man that carries the Holy Bible, any man that carries one of these black books, they're supposed to be lifting other people up. They're supposed to be giving you encouragement. They're supposed to be telling you, you know what? There ain't nothing you cannot do. See, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, you need strength. We all get tired. We all get weary. We all, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't want to go to church. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about God. But you know what? You know what? See, it's the love of Christ that compels me because I love people. And I want to lift people up. I, you know what? See, you know, I, you know what gives me joy is to hear the testimony of others, to hear everybody else talk about how good God has been to them, how they've overcome, how you, how God has prospered you. See, you know what? It's the, the Bible says that I would that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. See, God is not against wealth; He's just against the love of it. See, because the love of money is the root of all evil. That means we'll, we'll steal from our mom. We'll steal from our brother. We'll just steal because we are seeking after to be rich. The Bible says, he that seeks to be rich pierces himself with many sorrows. God is not against wealth. See, it's good. the Bible says it's God that gives us the power to get wealth. So what I'm trying to do now, and I pray to the living God, that he would give me the power to do it, and that these words would go through the airways on YouTube and we're all around the world. I don't care how God does it. All I'm doing is I'm seeking after a medium to which you know that uh, I can lift you up. You ain't got to. You ain't got to turn to drugs. You ain't got to turn to drinking. You ain't got to turn to anything else anybody else is saying. You don't have to do this. It's a choice. It's a choice you make. You make choices every day. You choose to go to work. You choose to go to school. You choose whether or not you know you're gonna eat the breakfast that morning. You choose. You choose. It's a choice you make. The Bible says, "I I lay before you this day life and death." Then He says, "Choose life that you may live." Not only do I lay it before you, but He tells you what to choose. He makes it easy. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, choose Christ Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart as, as your Lord and Savior. So if you would, if you want to right now, if you're just tired of all of the things that's just going on in your life and you're ready to make a change, a real change, 
I'm not talking about something that's fake. I'm talking about something that's real. I wouldn't even come on the airways and tell you it's about something that's fake. Because I want to tell you something that can help you. You know, there ain't too many ways I can help you. But this word of God will help you. This word of God will do anything. It's sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing asunder soul and spirit, bone and marrow, and is the sign of the thoughts and intents of the heart. This word of God pulled down the stronghold and bring it to captivity, every thought and imagination. Somebody out there got thoughts you can't control. Imaginations that keep on just thinking around. You don't want to think the wrong thing, but it's the enemy. It's the enemy, and you do have an enemy. So if you want to change, just pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Save me. Sanctify me. Fill me with the precious Holy Ghost. See, it's the Holy Ghost that gives gifts. It's the Holy Ghost. You, you need the Holy Ghost. And, and Lord, and I just thank you for coming into my heart right now. Amen. Until next time, until the next time I get ready to talk to you, or if God will, whatever we do, I'm going to If God will, that's what we're going to say. Let God be God.